All right, what I'm doing here is uh, finishing the fill in. This uh, crack that nature put into this piece of wood here. I put some in yesterday just to get it pure to a point. And uh, hoping that it hardened up enough to where it was leaking, it won't leak. Some of this stuff is a little harder. So it's harder for the syringe to suck it up because it's thicker. Thicker. Now what I've noticed about this stone coat is that it doesn't cure like they say it does, as, as fast as they say it does. Uh, this doesn't seem right, if you know what I mean. Yeah, they were saying, when I was talking to her on the phone, she says, uh, you got 17 minutes to work with it. So I'm thinking, okay, so that means it should be somewhat stable in about 17 minutes. Well, no. Not true. Not true. You know, it, you still have to pay attention to it because it's going to uh, settle up on its own. So you have to watch it. I mean, it takes like almost eight nine hours before it actually gets to a point to where it's not going to run on you but even then you have to think about it Because it wants to run. See, I was thinking, okay, if they said, you know, I had 17 minutes to work with it, I'm thinking it should get somewhat into a, a solid stage. But it doesn't. So you have to continuously watch it to make sure that the uh, doesn't go nuts on you and start running all over everything. Now it does say I'm one of the, uh, over here, uh, little sheet that it came with 
if I can find it real quick. Uh, you want to work above 65 degrees, fine. Uh, during your working time, as well as during the first 72 hours of curing, prepare your work well. And then it talks about uh, 24 to 48 hours, eighth of an inch thick or square, that's what they tested on apparently, V-notch. But it doesn't say anything about it curing. I hear it 24 hours again, uh, or it's work time, 17 minutes. It doesn't say anything about that. So either I misunderstood them, which is a possibility. I'm not perfect, as much as I like to think I am. Uh, it's a strong possibility that uh, I screwed up. on this, see if it starts to settle in like I wanted it to. Apparently I have more time to work with it than I thought, so I have time to deal with it, I guess. Now on this one, yeah, I don't know if you're actually going to see it or not, but the crack, that crack goes all the way through and out the other side in a lot smaller cracks and in the center it's got a big hole which I didn't drill but it looks nice anyway and I can use that so what I did was I filled this up with a thin nozzle of silicone and then pushed it down inside about a half an inch so I can kind of fill it and that's where I was going and then, um, to help keep it from going down and, and filling up a lot of voids that I'm not going to see, nor do I want to fill. But it still kind of seeps through a little bit. This stuff kind of has a mind of its own when it comes to some of this stuff. So meanwhile, I'm going to let this kind of do what... I'm hoping it's going to do, and uh, once I get it kind of settled so I know that it's stable, I'm going to uh, start cleaning the shop, because the shop is a mess. Camera just stopped recording. Did it stop recording because it got hot? Is the battery dead? Or is the memory card full? So I just turned it back on, and we will see, because when I watch it, I'll have an idea what it's doing. Okay, we're done. Now let me get a bucket of water. Let me get this out of the way because I don't want to make a mess of the camera. And I will uh, be back. <laughs> 